Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the new save file. We are jumping in again and we are going to go as, let's go as Tainted Mastemma. It's been a little while, hasn't it? Um, I enjoy a good old modded character run. I can't, I barely remember how this guy even works, I'll be honest. Uh, he's definitely changed since I last played him, I'm pretty sure. But, I, I have to say, I have to say, today I am feeling particularly gross. Because I had to do some corporate espionage, <laughs> and it doesn't feel good. Um, as, as part of my job for my company, um, well, like a streaming company, I won't go into much detail, but we make some streaming software. Um, and I had to ring up a potential competitor and pretend to be from another business to get their pricing structure and how their business works so that we can, like, gain information on them and use it. <laughs> um, and I just feel gross. <laughs> it's it's the way of the world, I get it, like, that's literally just how the world works, is how everyone operates, but I'm not a good liar, and I've, it made me feel bad, the guy was so nice. <laughs> what, what's going on? Okay, it's not like we're gonna undercut them or anything, it's, 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 it's kind of different. Um... I can't remember if this is good, I'm gonna take it anyways. Um, yeah, it's not like we're gonna ruin their business or anything, not, not even close to that, but it still just makes me feel icky. <laughs> like, I just have to lie to this guy and pretend to be someone else, and, uh, and, and as, as well, like I said, I'm not a great liar, and, like, when he was, like, basically, th this other company does, like, streaming for, like, schools and, and football teams and a few other things like that, and he was like, so what school are you from? And I just completely stumbled and didn't say anything for, like, five seconds. And it's like, so obvious that I was lying, I think. I mean, literally it doesn't matter. It's not like there's gonna be any repercussions or anything. But still, I'm like, oh god, I feel, I feel icky. Can I do that multiple times to you? Okay, now I, I can damage you with it. Oh no, no, it does work. Okay, nice. Okay, this, this thing might have been a good purchase. I've not really used this dog head all too much, to be honest, but... When I have had it, I've quite liked it. But yeah, what, what's, for the question of the day, what's the last thing that made you feel very icky? Because that, that was truly just, ugh, I just, I just don't feel right. I just don't feel good about it at all. Even though, like, re realistically, it's pretty harmless. It's literally just to get some point of reference for us and that's it. It's still, I'm still like, ugh, I'm not going to take that, I don't think. Not for a broken heart. Um, eh, I'll take it and if, if it's really bad, I'll restart. Oh, no, that was really good. Okay, very worthwhile. Right, down we go. Oh, God. Just, yeah, what was the last thing that made you feel overly icky? Oh, God. It just... Like, I don't really know even how to properly describe it. It just... I just feel uncomfortable at the moment. Um... I don't think we want buttermilk for a broken heart, let's be honest. Okay, this thing... This thing's amazing. Also, does does this give like a euthanasia effect to enemies that are stunned? It seems to. Yeah, it gives like a euthanasia effect to uh, enemies that are stunned. This this thing's amazing, man. <laughs> Especially because when it goes through walls and like hits the entire room. I like that a lot. I like that a lot. Ooh, free soul heart. Oh, it's, it's a locked soul heart though. I need a key for that. Lovely stuff. Oh, this is going to be great. This is going to be great. Even the range on it. Like, look at that chain reaction. It's beautiful. I don't have spectral right now, so I can't be firing over these rocks too easily. But that's okay. That's okay. Ooh, we got a token there. I'll leave that for now and come back for that if I get the soul heart, I think. This guy could drop a key here. Sadly not. Come on, game, give me a key. My god, it's so easy to kill them while they're stunned, it's amazing, I love it. No key, god damn it. It even works on these geezers. And these are the fast boys, too. Ah, oh, you bastard, he unfroze a little bit earlier than I thought he was gonna. Oh my god, the fast buggers are annoying, man. Oh my lord. Very hard to avoid. Okay, um, I will take that, thank you. Um, I think I'll go with that, that, we'll do that, we'll come in here. Extra soul heart, what does this do? 
When enemies die, other enemies near them are downgraded. That seems interesting. Oh, wait, and no, I can still get it good. That seems interesting. I'll take that. Right, I'm going to take the tears up doubled. So grab the tears up. And come back to wherever our token was, which I think was in this room here. There you go. We got double tears up, which I think is very worthwhile with triple shot. Cool. Okay, let's go. Let's go. This is an interesting run. I like it. Oh, but yeah, it's going to take me a while to get over that. One second. God damn, I'm sorry I'm doing this during an episode. I should have just paused. Right. Keep her going. Sorry. I just after that call, I'm dispersing the information that I gained. So, basically, this said that when I kill an enemy, enemies nearby will downgrade. I wonder what the chances of that happening are. That's going to be pretty useful, though. Downgraded enemies, like, it, it can make uh, enemies a lot, lot easier. I mean, that there, do you see that? I killed a fly, a single fly, and it downgraded an enemy next to it. Got this again. I would love some keys, game. That would be just beautiful. Oh, can I... Ooh, I didn't realize I could do that. I think I can stop using it early if I want to. Let's just try that. Yeah, I can literally just do, a, like, a little flick of it. I can stop using it early if I'd like. Snake is lovely. I'll take Snake. Snake is a great lad. He does some beautiful stuff. Right. Should we check what's going on in here first? Ah, unfortunately, the key for that as well. Yeah, I don't have to use it for the full duration. Ooh, this is this is worth it. I'm gonna leave those for now. Uh, take them at the end of the floor. I'm d Do you know, with Snake, this is a pretty powerful combo. I freeze them and then Snake gets in there and actually kills them straight away. This is nice. I'm loving this setup right now. What boss are we going for, by the way, here? We'll go Light Path. Uh, I guess we'll take that. Yeah, we'll go Light Path here. Thought that we'd get this guy as well, but sadly not. Ah, I froze him a little too early there. My bad. My bad. Ah, you bastard. Fucking snake blew that guy up when he was right next to me. Hey, that was perfect. I didn't actually mean to do that, but that was beautiful. Sadly, it was an unfortunate secret room that doesn't really matter to us. I wonder if there's any way I can up the damage that the dog's head does. But yeah, I need to I need to use this item more. I've seen it on a, quite a few runs and sound, sort of passed it by. It's very, very good. Oh, little mini Isaac doing some good work there. Would definitely like some more HP now that I've uh, whiffed that. Oh, I can turn around while I'm using it too. This thing's insane, man. It seems like the longer I hold it on an enemy, the longer they're frozen for. And the fact that it recharges and you can do it multiple times in a room is just... oh. It's amazing. Beautiful stuff. It just like landed him in midair there. Easy. Some HP there as well. Right. Go back and grab our two empty hearts. Are they called empty hearts? I can't remember what these ones are called now. There should be an EID description for these hearts, really, if there isn't. No, there isn't. But that's, getting two of those is very, very good. Now we'll get a, a Locust Pair Floor. I really like the additional hearts from Repentance Plus. To, to begin with, I didn't really like them, but now I think their, their rarity is just where it needs to be to make them pretty fun. Um, Right, down we go. And getting a reflected one is just even better. So now we'll get two red flies here, look. Which is even better for our freezing business we've got going on here. That can be doing damage in the meantime, during while enemies are frozen, so it's all good, baby. Didn't actually mean to touch that, but we've touched it now. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, it opened in one. I was like, where the hell did it go? But I think it just opened in one push. Hey, and there's the enemies downgrading. That doesn't seem to happen super often, but I'm guessing it's because our luck is so low. As this character, as you can see, we start with um, minus 666 luck, but we got a luck down on top of that, so... I look at the minute is pretty piss poor. Ah, 
downgraded you into that. Oh, lovely. You can downgrade an enemy out of being a champion. That's pretty nice. Mysterious Sack, I don't think is worth a broken heart, to be honest. That's a shame, but... Lovely. I just like the way we have so many ways to kill enemies while they're frozen right now. That's beautiful. Good, good. Snake is just the best boy. Tried to get this guy in the range there as well, but it didn't quite work. Ooh, extra soul heart there is lovely. Okay. Amazing stuff. Ooh, I think I will take that. First hit every floor does a Mamma Mega explosion. Can be pretty good for uh, getting into boss rush and stuff if you manage to keep not getting hit for a while. Uh, or it could just do good damage to a room when you do take damage. Oh, like that. God damn it. That was a really bad hit because... Um, two luck up, I will take. That also spawns a golden pickup as well. Golden bombs is rather nice here. The spear deals twice... Um, Spear deals twice his damage and can fear enemies on contact. Eh, it's not that bad, actually. I think I'll take it. Don't know when I'd actually get much use out of it, but it's not a bad item at all. Check for secret rooms. Have we found any secret rooms on this floor? Don't think we have, have we? I want to see if I can buy a soul heart from here as well, actually. That I can, that I can. Don't disappear. Oh, that was close. That was close. I unfortunately did lose one of my uh, thingy hearts here. Um, one of my fly hearts, which is a bit of a shame. Beautiful extra HP. And we'll be on our way, thank you. I will quickly check the second secret room in locations I think it could be. I'm not going to fret about it. Yeah. Let's just go. Good stuff thus far. Good stuff thus far. Our angel deals haven't been quite so amazing yet. Unfortunately, we've got an XL flaw here as well. Mm, maybe. Ooh, maybe. The spear is going to be pretty good with this dog thing as well. Yes, it is. Oh, this is, this is pretty amazing, you know. Okay, gotta be careful because this guy splits up in two shots. Dude, look at the devolving there. And an en one enemy mul uh, devolved multiple times there as well. Oh, this is beautiful. This is absolutely beautiful. I'm able to stun them and then run them down with the spear. I wasn't really thinking the spear ended up being that useful, but this is great. I mean, both of those aren't that good, but I will take Little Haunt, because Little Haunt's cute. Beautiful. So many trinkets as well. Size up and 10% damage increase. I'll take that. Try to be careful of enemies like this that explode on death, because they could be quite problematic for us. Oh my god. Split up quite a lot there. Oh my god. Oh no. That was a really, really stupid hit there. I mean, there's been an XL floor is making it slightly more confusing. This is this is such a crazy combo. I love this. We should have been doing Mega Satan as well here, really. I'm to stop taking bad damage. I'm kind of just running into everything at this point. It's not ideal. Okay. Keep it going. We've got three of these flies already, though, which is pretty good. We've still got, I think, both of our item rooms to go, actually. We've not seen either of them yet. I love this. This is the first time I think I've ever had the spear that the spear and found it to be super useful. 
Fettered Heart is pretty good, I'll take that. We are getting to the point now of having quite a lot of Broken Hearts, though. What the hell did I get hit by then? <laughs> Too, too bad. So many pills about that I don't want. The fact that you can hold it up and change directions is truly insane as well. Where on earth is our last item room game? Just hover the sword on top of him and hope he stands up. There you go. I do wish the fettered enemies were a little more common, but unfortunately I think that is also something to do with luck, and our luck is just pretty abysmal right now. Oh, I think it was one of these burn fragments that hit me last time, look, one of these little bad boys. There's the fettered enemies. Fettered along with everything else is great too. Uh, I will do all of these, thank you. Got some HP there. And we'll just freeze our cold, whatever the last one is. Not bad, not bad. HP isn't too awful right now either. That was lucky. Where the hell, goddamn, why does our last item room have to be so goddamn far away? It's gotta be up at the top there. I don't even want to take it, that's the problem. I'm gonna go all this way and it might be for nothing. Dude, though, I will say, the HP is coming fast and loose right now. I love that. And we get some shot speed as well. Not bad, not bad. Don't mind it. Okay, what's going on in here? Oh, we'll, we'll definitely take that. I know that obviously that's a lot of broken hearts to take, but that's a big damager. Okay, let's get out of here. Remember, we're going to get 10% damage per floor as well, so more damage means that 10% damage increase is even higher. Righty her. That brimstone hit me, are you kidding? Can't be taking that right now. Wasn't really planning on using this here, but why not? We're doing light path, aren't we? Yeah, light path. Man. <laughs> it puts our health in an absolutely dire spot, but we've got holy mantle plus a holy mantle heart. Can't not take that. We are quite broken up right now. <laughs> we only get minus one broken heart per floor as well, so this is kind of crazy. Right, yeah, we get minus one bro broken heart floor, but I think this just gives us so much leeway to play around with this setup. To play around with this ability of, like, running into enemies. Because we've got so much protection. We've literally got two holy mantles, essentially. We can take two free hits of room before we take any real damage. Which means we can do this crazy stuff. Oh, you're still alive? Okay. Did not expect that. We could do some sack room stuff. Um, I don't know. Does sack room go through holy mantle? Probably. Probably don't want to do some sack room stuff then. Uh, there was an invisible enemy there or something. <laughs> Look at that! All the enemies devolving and everything at once. This has to be one of the weirdest combos, like, I've ever had in a run. 
This is so strange, but so beautiful. Half a soul heart there is rather nice. So weird. Dude, the stunning, it's just insane. It just stuns them for so long. How is this item legal? Also, a little haunt here, doing some good stuff. Keep her going, keep her going. Like, most enemies don't even get the opportunity to shoot us. <laughs> they get devolved, stunned, sorted. I actually, I don't think I've ever had... One, one thing that I, like, I, I love to do, and I love to see, with, especially with vanilla items, modded items as well, but vanilla items especially, is have, like, a flagship run with, with like, an item that I haven't had a flagship run with before. Um, I always like to do that on Gungeon, and I like to do it on this as well. Having a flagship run... Um, also, we've got this now. Um... Good, good. Right. Having a flagship run with an item is always a goal of mine. Like, having that item be the centerpiece. I'll be honest, I've never had one with Spear of Destiny, and I never thought I would. And this is... This is truly a flagship run with this thing. Like, so much to the point that we have literally almost max broken hearts, and this run is still working. This is beautiful. Get out of here, you. Okay, this is going to be problematic. I don't want to lose my uh, Holy Mantle heart here, so I've got to be somewhat careful. That's a bit bullshit. Just leaving a fucking massive blob of tears in the middle of all of this crap. Okay, I've lost my holy mantle. Lovely stuff. If we had the shield as well, this would truly be god tier. Only thing I'm worried about right now is I don't think Mega Satan is very plausible with this setup, so... Oh yeah, I, I keep forgetting, our size keeps increasing, but as our size increases, the amount of size increase we get increases. So I think I'm going to have to drop this trinket at this point, because we've now reached um, big boy status. We have very much reached big boy status, like to the point now where my sword is quite small compared to me, which makes things a little more difficult. Dude, that's so fucking cool. Sometimes the enemies just go haywire. I really enjoy that when that happens. We've got Stompy now as well going on, which is kind of an interesting adjustment to all of this. What the hell's left? Oh, there's Polties in here as well now. Calm this room down, game. Calm this room down. I love that. Taking an enemy that's super, super difficult. Just downgrading it into nothing. <laughs> Look at that. That's so enjoyable, man. I'm loving this run right now. I'm absolutely loving this run right now. Every aspect of this is great. Oh my god. Plus two soul hearts as well. Oh, baby. No invincibility for you, Chuck. Oh, I said no invincibility for you. What are you doing? Extra soul heart. Unfortunately, we can't take that right now, but we'll keep it around, I guess. Just keep it there. No, it's there waiting for us.
Right. Unfortunately, this guy, again, n this strategy isn't going to work. I can do it for a little bit, but unfortunately not for long. What I can do, however, is I do have golden bombs. I can try and use those. But yeah, our actual damage outside of these items isn't actually that good. So I'm a bit worried for Mega and I'll be honest. That's my favorite pattern there. I love that one. It's going to be slow going, this. Unfortunately, Snake keeps fucking pushing my bombs around. Oh, really? I stunned you and then you fucking disappeared? One more of those, I think maybe two. There you go, got him. We got perfection out of this, nice. That's going to make things better. It only puts our luck up to three. <laughs> But it's definitely going to make things better for us overall. Nothing in there really does anything for us, unfortunately. Even money equals power. We do not have the money to sort of make that work. Retribution's causing errors. If any of the developers ever want to see those errors, let me know. I know they don't show up on screen. Right, boss, where are they? We can't get too close to these guys because they produce a bunch of fire. Fettered heart boys are getting wrecked. I think we're going the right way here by the looks of things. Do you know what would be really good with this? If we actually got euthanasia on top of it. <laughs> oh, man. Chubb's been made into so much more of an interesting boss, but so much more frustrating to fight. Because <laughs> he goes underground so often. That's alright, spin down, no thank you. I'm honestly super happy with the trinket I have right now, thanks. Um, I've got to wait and see what happens here. I am patient. It will eventually pop and give me some reward. You never know how long this is going to take. They can set a timer on them, so this could be like a minute long. Nah. I think, I think I've been trolled. Either that or the way is extremely long, so... Unfortunately, I'm going to leave that for now. I'm sorry. You piqued my interest, but you couldn't hold it. Beautiful stuff. The Red Poop Brothers. That's a lot of Red Poop, my guy. Unfortunately, our damage isn't actually really that high. If our damage was higher, this would be so much better. I managed to shit on you. Left hand is a bit crap at this point. I did get a chest finally, though. Huzzah, huzzah. Heals one heart, gives a random smelted worm or bug trinket. Oh, that's a really, really cool idea for an item. I don't think we need it right now for a broken heart, but I really, really like the idea of that as an item. Obviously, it could screw you over with the worm you get to begin with, but every subsequent one you get to choose. And most of them are positive. Beautiful stuff. Okay. Don't like these guys. Oh, melted that guy into just an eye. It says nearby enemies, and sometimes the nearby is very generous. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh god, this is kind of an annoying room here. Can, can you stop doing that, please? I don't think I've ever seen you do this attack before. What are you doing? Unfortunately, I'm unable to stun this guy. This guy's taking his sweet time to die. Luckily, this attack doesn't do anything to us, really. Boss man, where art thou? Having trouble finding you. Oh my lord. <laughs> what the hell is that abomination? No! I lost my perfection! Shit! I mean, I've still got my heart there, but I was liking having perfection. That was nice. Finally having positive luck for a short amount of time was, was pretty lovely. Look at that chain reaction. Everything just went boom. Oh my god. Not that I need any of this money, but this is just a room that like... It's too good to not pick up all the money. We're so big that we can pick up two rows at once. Anyhow, let's fight this guy, who, of which I'm, I'm not expecting this to go particularly well either. Also, why is my range so low? I have four range. <laughs> okay. I, I don't think I'm going to do Mega Satan, I'm going to be honest. I just, I don't see how it's going to be even remotely plausible to do Mega Satan on this run with this lower range. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to end up losing my Holy Mantle Heart. Yeah, I lost it. I, I, I genuinely don't know if I'm going to be able to get through this. Never mind everything else. I've got one heart left. I'm using my invincibility is the best of my ability. Nope, I didn't even get it. Very annoying. That that just it was just terrible build for bosses. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed that one. I'll see you guys in the next one.